crash up at two of them being stolen from me. So after that, I just kind of said. Oh, well, well, mine's a little bit different story than you because I, you know, provide free education and my students still have the feeling of wanting to steal one from me. And I don't even like require, you know, I'm not even like a drill sergeant of you have to have a calculator or you fail. But still, they just wanted to take one off my desk, you know? I know. It's sad. So, all right, so here we have a, have a triangle, and we notice automatically I have angle A and side length A. And I have one other value, so I automatically think, all right, law signs, I can work with this, right? So let's just write up, until you guys get used to this, let's just write up all the whole law of signs so we can practice it. So we have A over sine of A equals B over sine of B equals C over sine of C. All right, so in this angle, we are in this problem, we know that we have A and sine of A. So I write 21.6 over uh, sine of 102.4. And but this is in this case, we have C, but we don't have anything with B. So we're not going to write our ratio B. We're just going to go right to our C, which we don't have the sine of C, but we have 16.7, or the sine of 16.7. All right, so now we can uh, use this information now to apply uh, the law of signs, and we'll use cross multiplication. Go ahead and pull. So now I'm going to have C times the sine of 102.4 degrees equals 21.6 times the sine of 16.7 degrees. Then to solve for C, we obviously now have to divide by the sine of 102.4, or the sine of 102.4. So then we say C, as those divide out to 1, equals, so I just take 21.6 times the sine of 16. 0.7, then I divide that by the sine of 102.4. And I get C equals 6.36 as I round. So I could say C equals 6.36 rounded. Last more set. So all right, so now we know what C is. We still don't know angle B, nor do we know side length B. But we know by using our, the sum of angles in a triangle that B is equal to 180 minus the value of C, which is 16.7, minus the value of A. Because we know that A plus B plus C equals 180. So we all subtract them from 180 to solve for B. So let's find the value of B. What is it? 60.9. And then we had to supply law of signs again, because law of signs are so much fun. I guess nobody got that one. And then again, we can use you know either C or A. I prefer to use what we've already been given, which was A. So let's just use 21.6 over the sine of 100 and those 0.4. Cross multiply. B times sine of 102.4 equals 21.6 times the sine of 60.9. Divide by sine of 102.4. B now equals, so I do 21.6 times the sine of 60.9 divided by the sine of 102.4, and I get 19.32. So there we can just say B equals 19.32. And B equaled, what was B equaled? 60.9. There you go. All right.
Yeah. Any questions? No, that's well, how is that different than the <laughs> No, they're very similar. I mean, this one we were given two angles at first, but it's the same thing. <laughs>